So as you've probably heard by now, Best Buy is discontinuing sales of Blu-rays. This is just another step in the endless march away from physical media and on to streaming. That is why it's so important for us to support physical media, buying Blu-rays, etc. But for right now, up until they are basically out of stock, all of the Blu-rays are on massive sales. So we're gonna go in and we're gonna take a look what they have. Zang Films. Subscribe. Starting out with the new releases, there's a bunch of stuff here that I have no interest in. This is something I'm very interested in, so I might end up grabbing this. Mandalorian complete second season of Steelbook. That's fine. I, I like this a lot, but my thing with TV shows, if I'm going to have a TV show on, on, on Blu-ray, it really has to be the entire show. Otherwise, I just don't want it. Gran Turismo. Mission Impossible, Spider-Man. Um, I really liked Across the Spider-Verse, but I just don't really have any interest in owning that on Blu-ray or 4K as of right now. Don't even have any idea what that is. No intro. Oh, this is one I was definitely interested in. That very damaged on the corner, so I'm probably not going to buy this, but I was definitely very interested in getting this film. Sound of Freedom. I mean, I would buy it, but that's, that's a lot more than I'm able to spend at the moment. Predator. I like that. Why... Do they have the Hangover Trilogy on DVD? This was a Blu-ray, I would actually buy this, but it's a DVD, what am I gonna do with that? Put my coffee on it. There are not a lot of good options here right now, so we'll take a look at the main section and see what's going on over there. Bunch of Disney movies. Never mind, I'm very interested in that. It's only $4, so I'm definitely gonna pick this one up. This movie was so strange. Twilight, don't care for. That is interesting. Bruce Lee's greatest hits from the Criterion Collection. What what movies do they actually have? How much does this cost, though? It doesn't specify. I have to scan it, I think. Yeah, so that's $98, so I'm not going to be doing that. But if you're interested, they have it. I really want to get this, but this is, this is too much for me right now. They've got Reservoir Dogs, which I think I'm going to get because I really... I've been trying to watch this movie for quite a while. I've gotten through about half of it so far, but just been very distracted. Well, not distracted, but I've had a hard time being able to just sit down and watch a movie lately because I'm just very busy. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, another Quentin Tarantino movie that I haven't seen yet. Very interested in seeing, so I might get that. This is interesting. I actually own this movie on Blu-ray already. I bought it back when I was still interested in the show and I never actually watched it because I almost immediately lost interest after I bought the movie. Futurama Complete Series, that is really cool box but way too much money if they had raiders of the lost ark i might get it but the, the other two i'm just not i don't particularly like the other two hurt locker ah now that is a movie worth purchasing I believe this is only a 4k and i already have it on blu-ray but i have always wanted the 4k there's a steelbook of this that's 4k and blu-ray that i really want to get i i may i may pick this up not sure yet i love that movie Insidious, those were really, really good horror movies. Very rarely do horror movies really capture evil in the way that this movie did. I think the Conjuring movies did it a lot better than Insidious, but Insidious is still really, really excellent. I've actually never seen a John Wick movie, and that is really cheap, so I might get that, because I do really need to see those movies. I'm not gonna get the second one yet, I'm just gonna do the first one for now. I've actually never seen Full Metal Jacket, but I I don't have an excuse for that. I just have never seen Full Metal Jacket. Batman Mask of the Phantasm. That is definitely something I'm interested in. Do they have a version that isn't all beat up, though? It's not too bad. This one's actually in really good shape. That is definitely a very good choice. Wait a minute here. 4K digital. Don't think this has a Blu-ray, though. That is so irritating because I would really, really love to have this movie. Man. That's annoying. It's here. The last Blu-ray that I will likely ever purchase from Best Buy is here. But before I open that up, I want to talk about the three movies that I bought in the store. John Wick, Reservoir Dogs, and Tron, because I love Tron. This movie's freaking awesome. All of these movies are awesome. I'm very excited to see John Wick for the first time because again, never actually seen it. Now, without further ado, let's open this up. That is clean. Godzilla, or sorry, Gogeta 1954. This looks 
kick ass. I love this so much. So this is the Criterion Collection Edition, which I made especially certain was the original Japanese version with English subtitles. Um, it says here that it also comes with a booklet featuring an essay by a critic. That's pretty cool. Yeah, everything about this looks perfect. Why don't we open this up and take a look inside, huh? Let's see here. Oh, this is like paperback. This is cool. I would have expected this to have a more like plasticky feel the way that most Blu-rays have, but this has more of like a paper feel. It's very cool. It feels like kind of a hardcover book, which is surprising, but I really like it. I love this cover art, this orange look. It looks really, really cool. Let's slide the, uh, the book out here. Oh. Oh, that looks sick too. So it's not a normal sort of Blu-ray case. It's kind of a booklet and it looks amazing with the hand. And on this side, you got the teeth. This looks so awesome. Open this thing up. There's the booklet. Very clean. I love this. I'll have to read that later myself. So here's the Blu-ray and in here is a pop-up Godzilla. That is so freaking cool. This is incredible. I cannot wait to watch this Blu-ray because this, this looks amazing. Everything in here is just perfect and incredible. These are all really, really cool, especially that Godzilla film, which is why it's really sad to me that Best Buy is canceling Blu-rays and a lot of stores are starting to do the same. Physical media is a very important part of the film industry. And I think that with losing that, we're gonna lose a very important emotional aspect of filmmaking and of storytelling and of how we as audiences view movies because there's just a massively different emotion and feeling to just sitting down, pulling up Netflix, pulling up some random movie and playing it and going over to a shelf and grabbing a specific movie that sticks out to you, putting it in, sitting down with people and enjoying something together like that. It's a very different experience and it's something that I'm very sad that we are losing.